I know White Eagle here. How are you, son? I'm all right. Now, just take it easy there. Take it easy. Wait. Look, there's White Eagle's horse. That gives me an idea. We we'll leave it behind so the posse will find it. You ain't afraid they might dig them out, are you? Oh, sure, they'll dig them out all right, but too late to do any good. Well, we better be moving. Yeah, let's be heading for Darnell. I'd hate to think about my bones mildewing in a place like this. Oh, come on, Grizzly. Well, lead off. And if there's something, <laughs> all the comforts are home. It's like their hideout. Funny, it might come in useful. Useful? Useful for what? I don't see no way out of here. We're on the right trail, all right. This is all right, but you can all bet on it. And if them varmints should come back with a combination, we'd be caught like rats in a trap. And me without a gun. Oh, keep quiet, Grizzly. Use your head. There's no smell of gunpowder in here. That means there's a circulation of air. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Well, if you do, you'll be a brother to a groundhog. The trail leads in that direction. Well, get on your horse, quick. That's White Eagle's horse. He can't be far away. He might have left a message. Now dismount, men. Be careful. Do you see anything, White Eagle? There's some sort of an opening up there. Hey, Dave. Look. Well, might as well be in China. How are you going to get up there? Fly? Oh, quiet, Grizzly. Janet! Janet! Listen! Janet! Help! 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 Hey, wait a minute! Help! Hey, wait a minute! Come here! Help! Quiet! No way to call him down here. Wait a minute, Dave! Those shots came from up above. Let's try and get up there. Well, you see, all your shooting didn't do no good. Well, this is about where it came from. Well, there's no way out here. Dave, I know it is. Dave! Janet, this is Dave. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Get us out of here. I'll get a rope. Didn't I tell you I'd find a way out? down there besides White Eagle. Grizzly. Any of jerks up there? Oh. Have you any idea of who the ruffians were that brought you here? No, they all wore handkerchiefs over their faces. But I did manage to get a look at one of them. His name's Brace. Brace? Yes, you know, he hangs around the office so much. Yeah, well, we'll take care of him. Thanks, fellas. Why, Eagle, looks like you and me got out of a pretty bad hole. <laughs> How are you plenty, Dave? Uh, we can exchange thanks later, White Eagle. Right now, I'd like to hear what you think about all this. I'd like to hear what you know first. Darnell claimed that Pendleton told him you were guilty of taking Janet. Well, that's a lie. Pendleton is the one that warned us. I can prove it as soon as he's able to talk. we better get back to Coyote Springs. As soon as possible. I'd like to find out what Mr. Darnell has to say about this. Besides, I have more information than you know. We're getting underway. Is Darnell in there? No, I just found out he's over at his bone. 
That's as good a place as any to question him. Well, there's a letter coming in on the morning relay for Gordon. Me and Ronimo get it, making it look like engines done it. And we turned over the brace and he does the rest. All right, Butch. You and Ronimo can start right now. White Eagle got out of the cave somehow. He's on his way here with Smith, Rand, and Marvin. Oh, he's coming here, is he? Good, we'll be ready for him. Take your place. Oh, I know you'll be glad to learn my sister's safe, Mr. Darnell. Oh, certainly I'm glad to hear it, Rand. But what are these two doing here? Why aren't they prisoners? Because Dave's sister can prove we tried to rescue her instead of capture her. Pendleton was the one who warned them of Janet's danger, Mr. Darnell. Pendleton? Well, then why should he accuse White Eagle? That's what we want to know. Are you sure he did? Oh, I thought I was sure. Naturally, he was too weak to talk clearly. I guess you misunderstood. I guess I did. I'm glad I did. I'm sorry you were in such a hurry to ship him out of town. A lot of us would like to have questioned him. Well, Pendleton was badly wounded. He needed help. We're expecting Mr. Pendleton to explain a lot of things. Well, you can find me here for another hour if you want me. I'm taking inventory. Thanks. Why didn't you let us spot him? Oh, it would have given us away. Well, that engine said he's going to get Pendleton's papers. Oh, White Eagle is welcome to Pendleton's credentials if he wants ashes. I burned them. Well, where'd you get them? I'm not a fool. I searched Pendleton before the people came in. All right, Butch, you and Ron are and clear out now. Brace, you can't stick around here either. That girl is sure to recognize you. Yeah, you're right. Oh, stay here. You've got to move fast. White Eagle's more dangerous now than ever before. I've got secret advanced information that the treaty signed by the government and the general's bringing a copy to the Indians. Well, that'll ruin everything. Nonsense. I've engaged a man named Sprague. He'll be the general. He'll never get away with that. Oh, why not? Nobody here knows Sprague. He's up on army regulations. When I get General Allen and his credentials, my man Sprague will take his place. Well, I wonder what's keeping him. Do here now. Oh, hello, Gardner. What are you doing here? Oh, I've come in expecting a letter from Washington telling me when General Allen is due to arrive on the stage. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, nobody knew but me. I didn't want to say anything about it until I was sure. He's bringing the treaty all signed and sealed. Well, that's fine. Here comes our rider now. Why, the mail's gone. If that letter to Gordon's been taken, there'll be trouble. Plenty. We'd better backtrack and see what we can find out. Will you come along, White Eagle? Certainly. Me too. You ain't going no place out me. Ah, here is one. Right? Yeah, that's the one, all right. Tear it open. Just what we wanted. This tells Garner that General Allen is coming in on the stage today. Oh, fits pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Just what Don Al needed. Me take letter to Cantro quick. Ronimo, you got brains. Boxing tracks indicate an Indian. But I believe it's some part of a scheme. That's what I was thinking. See, the rider was shot in the back, headed this way. That means the arrow came from that direction. Hey, here's something. An envelope addressed to Gardner at the post. But the letter's missing. Should be around here somewhere. Wait a minute. Of a white man's vest, tromped in the ground by a boot heel. Boot heel? That means a white man. And the tracks are leading that way. Get the horses, Grizzly. I was right. The man this button.
Martin belongs to is taking the trail back to town. What puzzles me is this unshot pony tracks going in that direction. Unshot pony? Why, that means an Indian was with him. I'm afraid you're right. Kersley, you go back to town. Hang around the saloon. See if you can locate any more buttons that look like this. I'll go with him. But I'm worried about that letter. Whoever stole that letter knows General Allen's coming. I'll go out and meet the stage and see nothing happens to him. General Allen, United States Cavalry. You mean you were General Allen. This is a general now. Say, you can't get away with this. Yeah, we can try. I'll take Allen with me and meet you and the boys after you've taken care of the telegraph. And after that, it won't be any trouble for our General Allen to decide the Indians don't deserve peace. Here's his papers. Give them to Sprague. Here you are, General. All right, Sprague, you know what to do. I'm White Eagle, General Allen. I was riding to warn you. See him a little late. The Indians attacked the stage a little ways back. I just escaped by a miracle. I'll trail him. No. No, I want you to go to Coyote Springs with me. Very well, General. Close by. I may need you. Folks, this is General Allen. How do, well, how do you do? I'm awfully sorry, folks, but the introductions will have to come later. Just now, we have a lot of serious trouble to consider. Keep your mouth shut. Oh, General! General! My name's Darnell. Yes. Look what I found sticking in back of the coach. Why, this is addressed to Gardner. Why, that's me. By killing the relay rider, the Indians got hold of this letter. That's how they knew you were coming, General Allen. How did the Indians, as you call them, know this letter was coming? Well, I, I wouldn't know that. But it's here, isn't it? What's the matter? Hey, sign. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Butch. You're getting careless. You got a button missing. Will you mind your own business? Well, if you're going to get mean about it. All right. That old man's a nuisance. Yeah. What's the matter? General, I know the Indians are not to blame for this. The evidence speaks for itself. I'm in charge here. And all these outrages look like Indians to me. Why do you go? Why do you go? Get out of my Why do you go? I got our man. It's Butch. He's over in the saloon talking up against the Indians. And this button is the same as those on his vest. Come on. Gardner, I want to call a general conference. Indians and whites to meet at your trading post. Why, certainly. <laughs> Dog, you. Yeah. First the Pony Express rider. Then the stagecoach. Engines are blame, I tell you. Probably are. All right, deal them up. Hold the deal, boys. How'd you know about the Pony Express rider? Just heard about it. Count the buttons on your vest. I think you'll find one missing. See, what is this? Button, button. Who's got the button? Yes, I have it. I found it in the spot where the arrow was shot that killed the relay rider. Just like I told you, White Eagle, it fits perfect. Hey, you're trying to frame me. That's what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to frame you. I'm accusing you of murder. And let you talk, you haven't got a chance. And you better talk, mister, because I can tell from the look in his eye he ain't fooling. I ain't talking. You're gonna talk. 
I'm going to count to five. If you're not talking by that time, you'll never be able. One. Two. Say, pilot, you're not going to let him kill me like this, are you? Three. Oh, give me a chance. Give me a chance. Four. Stop. I'll talk. That's better. Now tell me everything you know. You'll be hearing news about a new Indian raid. Again, the telegraph. We'll take care of that later. Who's your boss? Who's paying you to do this? I can't tell you that. Tell me, talk. All right. His name is... Oh. Gee Willick. Whoever done it got Gee Willick. Hey. My only chance is to follow Butch's tip about the telegraph. To prove to General Allen the Indians are not to blame. Get going, son. Well, I see you've got all the junk here. What are you going to do with it? Wreck all the equipment. Do anything you want, but get rid of it. Roll those spools over the cliff. set up. The Indians get blamed for stopping the telegraph, and the treaty gets busted wide open. We're going to end up owning all this territory, especially Black Butte Pass. Not if I have anything to do about it. You won't. We're taking care of you according to plan, General Allen. That imposter who took my place will be discovered soon enough. He'll never be discovered the way we've got it planned. Don't move anybody! Step over to me, General Allen. Drop that gun, White Eagle, or the General gets one right now. Get it! You're smart, Ronimo. Do what you want with him. Soon you'll be no more, White Eagle. I will lead Indians. All my people were wiped out one by one. You would never be chief. We see. I will have white men to back me up. Bring them on! on spool. Don't let them do a thing like that. You're a white man. That's an Indian trick. Sure. That's why we're doing it. It's too bad we can't roll you down, but we'll need you later. This way, White Eagle won't ever be found. in Treachery Down, the thrilling and concluding chapter of White Eagle.